Biola Cannabis was founded in 2011 by 16-year veteran of the NBA, Al Harrington. Green Market Report had a chance to speak with Al during the recent MJ Biz Conference in Las Vegas. Uh, Viola is a company that I started in uh, 2014. Um, I actually started in 2011 when you know I saw the benefits of cannabis help my grandmother who was suffering from glaucoma. Um, 79 years old, um, was able to convince her to just give cannabis a try to deal with you know her eye pain. And uh, you know, hour and a half later after her trying it, she was downstairs reading the Bible. And, you know, she was crying and telling me that was the first time she did that in over three years. So that's what really inspired me to learn more about cannabis. That's when I first realized that a lot of the stigma that had been you know uh, taught to me over my uh, over my whole life was pretty much a lie. That cannabis was actually uh, medicine and you know, for me, you know, a miracle plant. And uh, that's when my journey started with cannabis. Um, you know, we named the company Viola, which is my grandmother's name because she's the one that inspired us, you know, to get to this point. Viola just opened its first medical marijuana dispensary in Detroit, Michigan. You know, Michigan has uh, been a, a big challenge for us, uh, to be honest. You know, we uh, identified the, the Michigan market about three and a half, four years ago now. Um, you know, one of the main motivating factors for us coming into Michigan was that we wanted to, you know, be able to empower, you know, the black community um, through cannabis by, you know, obviously offering jobs, but also creating environments where we can help young entrepreneurs uh, get ownership in the cannabis space. And we felt like a place like Detroit was a place that we could have huge impact. Um, when we first got there, we got derailed. Um, you know, we had a raid by the police uh, back in um, 2018. And, uh, you know, it really set us back. And, you know, it was a situation where um, obviously we were in the right, you know, we went to, we had our day in court and, you know, the, you know, the police was, you know, wrong for what they did. But, you know, it definitely put us in a spot where it was kind of, do we want to keep doing this or do we want to leave? But, uh, you know, we decided to stick with our guns. You know, we felt like this market was very important to, you know, what we believe in and the people that we could actually affect and help, you know, through, through this plant. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to say that we was able to open up our retail location about two weeks ago. Um, right now, we are a medicinal, um, a medicinal dispensary um, because the city of Detroit decided to opt out of recreational uses first time around. Um, don't understand, you know, really why they did it, but, you know, I, I figure they will fix it pretty soon. Um, Detroit's a market, especially with the fact that it's thriving and more business and more things are coming there. Um, I think that they can benefit from, you know, having a recreational uh, play, you know, in a city that's as big as Detroit, where, you know, obviously, you know, with tax, with tax money and different things like that, can do a lot of good, you know, uh, in the community and, you know, just, you know, through the city of Detroit. And, you know, I think that a lot of players are coming in um, because, number one, they are users. Um, and, you know, with CBD, I think it's a safer way for them to kind of, you know, um, test the industry before they can, you know, cross over and, and start telling their truths about, you know, their relationship with, with TAC. So, you know, the one thing I always try to encourage with these athletes is, you know, if you don't have a McDonald's contract that may be voided because you talk about, you know, uh, the benefits that you, you know, benefited from cannabis, tell your story. Man up.